title, but of course, the world champion bucking bull title. Only ridden one out of 12 times at this level, the last time. Actually, one of the best rides we've ever seen, Fabiano Vieira in Columbus this year in the championship round. Well, yeah, and I, I mean, we've bragged a lot on this bull, and rightfully so, but if you're one of the top bull riders, this one you should be craving to get on because he's awesome. Up and down like everybody's talked about. He's really big and strong if, like Ty was saying, if you miss the front end, that's where he's going to get strong. Two trends, Ty, I'm starting to notice. The riders seem to be taking their time tonight, and therefore the judges now for the third time tonight putting the rider on the clock. It took Big Black a while to finally figure out which direction he wanted to go, but it only took one turn to the left to get Sosa off his back. I'll be really interested to see these scores because that's that's the big thing with this bull in in the competition and trying to win his title. So 41 and a quarter is not going to do him any favors in trying to win the ABBI title, a let alone trying to be that outside shot at a world title. Well, I mean, uh, obviously it'll take two outs, but Ty, wouldn't you say with a 41 and a quarter, that would take him out of the running for the yeah, world champion bucking bull title? I would say it's over. He's done. That that changed a lot of things, and and uh, you know that, like uh, JW was just talking, that helped the three chances that he's got. Well, let's go to the guy that knows the most about the Bulls, Cody. What's your thought? Well, we got to base their second out on what they did the first time, and Big Black won't 